Imagine a world where the weather didn't matter. A world where you could grow tomatoes, lettuce, and a whole host of other fruits and vegetables, even when it's 30 below. Welcome to Ted Marshallden's world. We can be indoors, so you could set this like clockwork. It's high noon all day, every day, 24-7. In Ted's world, plants aren't affected by drought, cold, or any other plight affecting farmers today. And unlike a greenhouse, he doesn't need daylight or much space. Ted calls this the future of farming. Everybody's moving into the cities. Uh, we're 50 percent of the population in North America is in the cities. They figure this is going to go up to 80 percent. So we've stacked up people, but we have not stacked up farming. Plants are grown in these stacked up, slow rotating cylinders. Using the cylinder means each plant is bathed in equal light. If the plants were laid out flat, he'd have to use six times more light. The moving cylinders have another benefit as well. Plants are trying to right themselves against gravity whenever they're not perpendicular to the ground. So if you turn a tomato plant on its side, a nice pliable weak old tomato plant, it will make a 90 degree turn back up against gravity in 15 minutes. And here's the really cool part. Ted says because the plants are constantly turning in the cylinder, they're always fighting against gravity. And that constant battle forces extra nutrients to the stems, making bigger, stronger, faster growing plants. We've noticed as much as a factor five increase in the growth rate of the plants versus something that's just sitting stagnant, uh, even with the same conditions. We did uh, romaine lettuce. The seed packet said 60 to 75 days, and we were done in 15 days. He says he uses about 1% of the water used on a field farm and far less space. If you give me a 10-story building with an acre of uh, footprint, I my calculations are I can turn that into about 400 acres of field farm production equivalency. Ted says farmers could potentially grow fields of food anywhere, but it won't be cheap. All these units are available for sale and will soon be available for lease. If you'd like more information, you can log on to the website at www.omegagarden.com. For the Weather Network, I'm Ogan Abosi in Vancouver.